What's up guys and good morning. We are getting ready to go on another trip. <clears throat> I tell you what, packing is fun as you guys know. Packing is always fun. You always got to remember, did I bring this? Did I bring that? Did I bring this? You don't want to get somewhere and you forgot something. But you know what? As a vlogger, it's even more challenging. Uh, <laughs> packing all your gear, that's a chore on its own. Here's my desk. Man, it's a mess. You got to make sure you got everything. You know, your camera. Uh, do I want to do some vlogging using my road mic? Bring that along. Batteries. I got batteries. Got to bring enough batteries. And then when you've got the batteries, you got to remember to bring your chargers. You got to remember to bring your laptop and your charger for your laptop. Uh, a mouse. I always like to use the mouse, external mouse here, when I'm videoing things. The GoPro. I already said the GoPro. I got that in my hand. An extra camera. Another extra camera. Do I want to bring the mic in case I go live? Uh, the drone. I got to make sure I have the drone. I got to make sure I have the batteries. I got to make sure I have the charger. And another funny thing is, that's the charger for the drone. It's got them prong, them little cattle prongs I call them and you got to get the adapter because sometimes you get in the hotel rooms and they might not have the right adapter so you got to bring your adapter uh, here's my shelf full of just goodies of everything do I want to bring my little portable external Bluetooth JBL radio so if I'm sitting somewhere I can listen to music do I want to bring the water camera cover for the GoPro do I want to bring the uh, uh, Spit it out, spit it out. Do I want to bring the uh, phone holder for my phone? And then, of course, you need a power strip. You got to bring the power strip. And then this, that, and the other thing, and you hope you don't forget anything. Um, but it's just fun in its own, just making sure you don't. Because electronics, if you forget something, uh, you can have a problem. Um, a lot of times, you, like I said, a lot of times you get to hotel rooms and they got these crazy funny adapters or whatever so you gotta remember to bring multiple adapters anyways that's enough rambling we gotta get packing um gotta pack this all up and uh we're heading for, we're heading out on another road trip for a few days and i'll tell you where we're gonna go shortly first of all i want to say how stupid do we look huh me and Lut in the car, we live together, we eat together, we sleep together, we do everything together, yet how stupid do we look driving down the road with a mask on? Ah, silly. Anyways, here we go, we're on our trip, where are we going? We are going to, Lut, you want to tell them where we're going? We are heading up to La Union. Why am I yelling? Does it sound like I'm yelling? Yeah. <laughs> I just watched that Ron Burgundy Anchorman, the second one. And uh, what's his name in there was always yelling. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That was a dumb one. That was corny. Some people might say the first one was corny. But uh, the second one was even cornier. Anyways, yes, we are heading up to La Union for uh, a couple of days. Last time we were up there... The owner, Peter, gave me a voucher to stay. He, he, he invited us to come up for Valentine's Day. He actually gave me a voucher to stay for free. And then he gave me another voucher for so much off. And I contacted him. And he's like, yeah, he goes, I'll give you some more discount. Guy's a great guy. Um, I, know, I know people can't get up there. But if you can get up there and you're in the area, check it out. P&M Final Options. That's where we're going again. Also going to check on... Uh, possible investment I know I've talked about it before last time we were up there but I got some news not going to share it until we know for sure so anyways here we go you know as we're traveling down the road here always look in the fields and you always see from the last time you came up here till now like just changes of the crops that are grown in the field and uh, I got to the point I can point at something say mango farm a little yep calamansi farm yep that's rice yep well everybody knows what rice is um, 
sugar cane, just different things like that. Banana trees. Uh, but it's cool just to see the change. So anyways, here we go. We are heading to La Cunha. All right, we are now leaving the T-Plex. And this is where the checkpoint is, guys. This is where you got to have all your paperwork. There's a uh, guy up here on the left-hand side. You show it. He pulls you over. As you can see, check it out. There's M16. Hey, you doing, soldier? Travel pass, yes. All right, buddy. All right. You gotta pull over here, then you gotta go check in, show them your proper paperwork, then you're good to go. Alright guys, so I was saying that this road takes forever. This is MacArthur Highway, by the way. Um, you, can take, you can take MacArthur Highway out of Angeles City all the way up to here. Uh, <coughs> but this is why it takes so long going down the road. See that truck in front of us? We could be following that truck for a couple kilometers and not be able to pass. Uh, that's why it takes so long getting through here and down this road. It's a nice drive. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys as we're heading down the road, just some of the small, uh, you know, brung guys and stuff we come. This is Rosario. Mm. This is Rosario right here. We've we've always talked about getting out walking around, but we never do. I don't know, I guess one of these days we'll just have to do it. Uh, nice little barangay here. I remember coming up through here a couple months ago when things were just starting to open up and it was like a ghost town. Um, it was, yeah, it was strange. Uh, but you can now see people are out there about doing things so you can use the right hand side lane to pass here but you have to be careful because somebody might be parked up the road somebody stops like that that just messes you up so you just constantly got to be careful here all right guys we're now in Santa Thomas another really neat little barangay here you go through it's just it's neat just to see how other people live here um, now we're entering the area where the dry fish <clears throat> where Lud always picks up her dry fish right look yeah Santa Thomas because I'm starting to see the little roadside stands where they're selling it but all down through here I know it's hard for you guys to see but left hand side right hand side just little uh, get around him the little shops just selling it now we don't buy in this area we buy down the road a little further uh, I did a video on it but here's where it all starts Whoa. Wow I just seen on the left hand side like a big board it looked like a big board with all a whole bunch of fish attached to it drying it out in the Sun so I always like riding through here but you can see how the trees kind of overgrow the road from above and it's just nice it's really neat looking through here uh, shaded what kind of trees are they like mango those are mangoes you can see I don't know you guys probably can't see I know you can't but you can see the mangoes are starting to produce are they green or yellow ones? Green. The green ones. Wow. What happens when you're driving through here and the mangoes fall? <laughs> you're going to fall on your car. Maybe. No, not all of them is mango. I think some of them get some like pine trees. Pine trees. Yeah. Different kind of like tree. But this place is very beautiful. I go. I go. I go. I go. I go. A G O O. We are now entering. I go. 1978. 1978? What was that? I don't know. We just seen the word in 1978. Might have been when they uh, built it. Built that arcway. Alright, so this is more of a go. Oh, just kind of showing you what's down through here. Tai Hai restaurant, banks, floor center, 
Now we can get a better view. Uh, it's your typical little, I wouldn't say it's little, I mean, it's pretty big. I think they might even have a Jolly Beer up here. Jolly Bean McDonald's. They have a Jolly Bean McDonald's in this yeah. little area? They do? They do. I guess we'll find out, huh? But I mean, it's, they have everything, it's, it, it's like every, I'm going to call it a city, small city, or a town, or a barangay, but every one you go through, they all have the same thing, you know, LBC stores, um, if, they're, if they're a bigger one, they're going to have, McDo or Jollibee at least, and up there is a Jollibee, a motor trade, motorcycle places, Honda, Suzuki's, uh, it's like they all had the same thing. Red ribbon cake. What else do I see? Palawa. What is that? B &B. Oh, R D. B and B. R and D. I don't know what that is. K Serve Co. This area here. We, this is another one we always wanted to get out, and walk in, walk around, but we, we just never do. It's busy through here. There's this big, cool church here on the right-hand side. It's so cool looking, and I like the old churches. Um, I'm sure you guys can see it on the right-hand side. I'll go slow. Uh, but I always want to stop and check it out. I know somebody's going to say, well, why don't you? You're right. Why don't I? All right, so this is what I would consider center city area of San Fernando. If you look over there to your left, that's what's nice. McDonald's and Burger King. Any city that has a Burger King is a city for me. <laughs> right, Lut? Yeah. And you see in front of us, <coughs> the trikes here are that white, red, white, and blue color. I got on, the motorcycle almost got clipped. Uh, yeah, red, white, and blue are their colors. But this is it. Nice size city. They're putting up a new mall here. We just passed it. And it's still being constructed. And like I told look, I said when they open that up, it's going to be filled. <laughs> filled with people because I guess they don't have a proper mall here. On the left hand side is Bank of the Philippines, BPI. That's the bank I use. So they have every bank here, BPI, BDO, probably China Bank. Uh, city with everything. May Bank on the right. M lawyers, you name it, Jolly Bees. They have a nice hospital here. Now, what is it like when it rains here? I don't know. You can see the streets are clean too. I'm impressed. They're always clean when you come through here. There is a back way you can go. It's it it says it's a bypass San Fernando area, but you take it and it seems like it's longer. Yeah. It just seems longer. I think uh, this place is like uh, clean is the first time I came. Yeah, very clean. clean. Uh, up here on the left is a Pizza Hut, another McDonald's, a Jolly Bee. There's the walking bridge goes up over the highway here. Traffic lights, but as you can see, they are out. There are, however, cameras in the intersection. To the right is a park area, like a public park area. Wow, that's a church. Church in there, Lud says? Mm. Yeah. You should check that out. The church? No, no, the plaza. Oh, so plaza. Yeah, check you that. can see it's a give and go through the intersection here. No, uh... No traffic police. Go oh, ahead, buddy. That red one must be a private. Mm. Yeah, it's a private. City of San Fernando, La Union. Greenwich on your left. Coming up in another intersection. Watson Pharmacy. That's like a tow truck in front of us. 
There's a mini grocery store on the corner on the left. There's a pure gold here also, right, Lunt? Yeah. Yeah, at the other side. There's a pure gold here. Pure gold is like a grocery store. Oop, hang on, go ahead, quickly. I don't want to get rear-ended. You guys see it. A lot of people out walking about. Mm. Or is a big sale for Valentine's Day? Oh, uh, what's in a, a sale? Valentine's Day sale? Oh, look at that car, it's pink. Yeah. Here on the right, I was told, where that red car is pulling in, is a good area to park. It's like a public parking area. You can park and then walk around all of the city here. Macho Temple, right here on the right hand side, this Macho Temple. We will be checking that out. It's a uh, temple right. that was built back in there for, I don't know, somebody just had money and they built it. We're going to check that out this time. All right, guys, we have finally arrived at our destination. If we didn't stop to eat, we stopped to eat, it would have taken us like a little over three hours. The traffic going down MacArthur Boulevard, MacArthur Highway, um, wasn't that bad. Yeah, you did have some trucks. You had some slow moving vehicles, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, we did stop, however, at a place called Mad Monkey in Orbostondo. Yeah. And uh, if you want to see what the Mad Monkey's about, go check out Lutz's channel, Lutz Diary Adventures in the Philippines. Wow. But we're here. You guys, one of the things I always do when I get here, when I first arrive, they make this German beer here. Well, they don't make it here. They serve it here. Schweiger? Schweiger? I don't have idea how to but read man, it. man, it's... Schweiger. It is nice, and it is cold, and it is delicious, and we get it every time we come here. After we unpack everything, come out here, sit by the beautiful ocean, drink this nice cold beer so the only thing left to do is to enjoy this nice cold refreshing beverage and with that being said take care of yourself take care of each other the sick the elderly the young if you have pets take care of your pets i hope you guys follow us through these few days up here we really enjoy being up here we got a lot of things planned time to enjoy